Okay, so comp is on Manjaro Linux is a problem. Okay. I'll show you why. If I go into PAMAC, let me just make me a bit smaller. If you go into PAMAC and you type compiz, this compiz Manjaro thing, it just, I don't know, I mean, this is obviously KDE, but I've tried it on XFC. I can't get it to work at all. Everything I try, I can't get it to work. I can't get the fusion icon to work. The only thing I can get it to do is go comp is hyphen hyphen replace and get that to come up like that. I can't get it to work at all. Maybe I'm dumb, maybe I'm stupid, but this is how I install comp is properly. And it actually works and works really well. I do it from the AUR. But if you type in yay compiz and install them all like that, it will not work. Every single package, it will try to install this instead, because I don't know it's newer or better, whatever, okay? That's my rant out of the way. But, okay, luckily, this took me forever to find, but I did find a way to do it. This is on a very obscure forum somewhere. And you use PAMAC through the terminal, which is interesting. So, first you install this package. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. It'll be slower because I've already downloaded everything. And you just do it like this. So this is from the AUR. Um, uh, edit build no. Apply yes. Password. And then it's going to build. So this is how I managed to do it. And it works. And yeah, I love Compiz. It's great. It's my favorite thing about Linux. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's me playing with cards. It's my favourite thing about Linux. Uh, Kwin is cool. I mean, Kwin you can use effects and things, but like... They're just cool. I like Compiz. I like it. It's really good. I don't know what Manjaro did to it. I can't get that to work at all. But I can get this to work. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I'm also going to show you how to get the Emerald themes as well. Paste that. Edit, no. Apply, oh, yes. I'll put these all in the description if you want. Enter. Now it's going to build. It'll also, it'll have to download it for you, but because I just, I already had compis, I removed it to make this video. Uh, it's not downloading them all. Alright. Next package. I don't know if these have to be in this order, but I guess they are. It'll probably maybe ask you for extra dependencies as well. Anything it asks you, just press yes. It's all good, except for editing. Don't want to edit the build files. I mean, if you're smarter than me, you know, go for it, but I wouldn't know what I'm doing. The only thing I can't get working is I can't get Kwin to pop up in the fusion icon, but that's alright. There we go, next one. If you have any problems with repositories, um, which has happened to me in the past, it didn't happen this time. Um, where it would try to download the Manjaro thing, Compass Manjaro from the community repository, just disable it temporarily while you're doing this. But doing it through PAMAC seems to work fine. I couldn't get it working through Yay. I could get it working through Yowit, even though it's a bit old, you really shouldn't use Yowit. But I did get it working through Yowit, but um, 
I had to install a package from the community repository, then disable it, install it. But this one, it just seems to work through PAMIC. When in doubt, use PAMIC. Okay, CCSM. Edit, no. Apply, yes. Password. Cleaning up. Alright. Fusion plugins main. Oh. I made a silly mistake. Enter. It's gonna do the alcohol flags. <laughs> I'm so funny because it's like it looks like alcohol, but it's not. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm a delight. This is gonna take a while. Blah 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 blah. blah. This is a very professional, top level. You know, this should go on the first thing when you open up the Manjaro wiki and the Compiz wiki as well should be the first thing is my beautiful face in this lovely professional video which is really more of a rant than anything else but anyway yeah I remember doing that the first time thinking is that good all that text but yeah it is apparently okay extra uh, the extra and experimental packages are optional, but I'd get them. They're cool. Edit. No. Apply. Yes. Okay. Password. The other day, um, Pamac was bugging me about system updates. So I updated it, and it was... A 800 kilobyte update. You know, it's very. It did a lot to the system. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What dog's over here? There he is. Cleaning up. That's what I need to do. My room is a mess. Alright. I'm the new Spatry. Okay, plugins extra. Just kidding, Spatry. I love you. I just wish you'd make more videos. Oh, I did X. Oh, shit. Do I do extra? Yeah. X. Experimental. <sighs> Edit. No. Apply. Yes. Password. The alcohol's installing. Wondering what these cards are? They're gold dragonbacks. I can't remember if I got them off eBay or at a shop. I think I might have got them off eBay. That's a lot of text. What is next? Yay, we get to install Emerald. Emerald is 
Really cool. Ugh, shit. Whoa. Okay, this is not working. Let's do this. Now we're building emerald. No. And that's another thing with the um, Compass Manjaro. I'm not going to just say no emerald. I'm sure there's a way, but I can't get emerald to work either because I can't get the fusion icon to work. This is not supposed to be anything against Manjaro. Obviously, I use it as my operating system. Manjaro is good. It's good for me who's too dumb to use Arch Linux, but. That's the only thing I don't like, is that the, the comp is thing. It just doesn't seem to work. What I do like is the testing they do on packages. That's really good. So when you do a system update on Manjaro, it's going to be very unlikely that something will break. But on Arch, that's more likely. Nothing against Arch either. I think it's really cool. Okay, going to do the themes. This is optional as well, but um, this gives you more options with your themes. Now, I'm not actually sure if when this is all installed, all my settings are going to be there. So I did export them in my emerald theme that I was using. <sighs> is this still working? This CD recovery thing. I think it crashed. <sighs> okay. Uh, so that was the emerald themes. Now we're going to build the fusion icon. Fusion icon. Now I don't know what this command does, but it makes it work. So I don't know. Now why is this going orange? Yeah, who knows? All right, and this last command. And then we should all be good to go. But there's a few more things you have to do. Alright, so that's done that. Don't know what it did. There's a few more things you have to do. You have to open up your auto start. This is how you do it on KDE. I don't know about operating systems. Ah, so it's kept it. So you basically just add program, compass fusion icon. Then you want to open your settings manager. And I don't know yeah it's kept it basically it's kept everything that I already had um, but what you want to do is make sure before you start um, comp is make sure that you have resize and move windows and actually have something and then um window decoration is somewhere here you'll need to enable that as well up oh, there it is so yes yeah, so then when once that's enabled you can just type fusion icon and actually I'll open a window just so you can see fusion icon whoa it's opened everything but there we go and it's kept my theme as well so the stuff I have on comp is the thing I love about comp is is that <laughs> with the webcam it still wobbles it doesn't do that on Kwin um, whoa okay uh, so the effects I've got, let me just open a few windows. So I've got desktop cube, not that I really use multiple desktops, uh, but it looks cool. I've got obviously the burn effect. Now if you want to get the burn effect working, it was a bit of a rigmarole actually. But you go to your settings manager and you have to go preferences, plugin list, uncheck that automatic sorting. Then you have to add from here, uh, make sure animation, animation add-on and animation plus are in there, then retick automatic, then you can get the burn effect to work. Uh, what else have I got? I think I've got a cube, uh, the fire, and uh, that's the writing, and I've got the water as well, how do I do that? Control, control super. Ah, so that does that. Um, and then shift F9. But that's okay because you can put the windscreen wipers on. There we go, windscreen wipers. 
but the rain didn't work. Ah, oh, there's the rain. But like, you can't do that with any other window manager. I mean, you probably, there's probably going to be someone going, oh, yes, you can. But yeah, whatever. Um, I feel like this video is going to frustrate a lot of people. But anyway, that's how your comp is working. Um, but yeah, I'll show you Emerald as well. Emerald's really cool. Um, so yeah, if you download the Emerald themes, it'll come with all these themes, except for this rainbow one, because I made that myself. Um, but yeah, you can get even more themes. There's endless themes on websites like Gnome Look and things like that. You just go Emerald Themes. You can just even... Uh, I'll just show you now. So if you just go Emerald Themes... Yeah, it's websites like this. And there's even more Emerald Themes. Come on, Internet. Work with me today. Been working good so far. So yeah, endless themes, endless themes. And you can just download one, and then you can import them into Emerald Theme Manager. And just by clicking, there we go. That looks a bit like Windows 7. That looks very ugly. That doesn't look too bad, actually. But yeah, there's all these themes. Um, but yeah. It's also, you've also got GTK. I don't know, like... I mean it works but like I don't know how you customize GTK but yeah so Compiz works with Emerald on Manjaro you just gotta do some hunting around to find to get everything to work so yeah sorry to people I frustrated with this video I can just tell it's gonna frustrate a lot of people but uh, how do I do this um, there we go Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again, I'll see you again soon, how do I stop this, bye!